The Convenience Store is a game which many of you have been requesting. It's a game by Chilla's Art, building up the tension as it plays out. A college girl starts witnessing paranormal occurrences as she spends more nights in the haunted convenience store, leading to her unveiling the backstory of this place. Hi folks, I'm R, your narrator. You can follow me on Twitter and send me game suggestions which I might cover. Also consider becoming a member, which would help this channel massively. This video will have spoilers ahead. With that in mind, let's begin. The female college student wakes up at 11.35 p.m. and gets ready to go to work in a convenience store, working as a part-time shop assistant. She quickly heats up her dinner in the microwave and heads out right after eating. She picks up a flashlight as despite the streets being lit by lampposts, the visibility is not very good. After a short walk, she reaches the store with a homeless man sitting outside, demanding to have food or else the girl would suffer from eternal punishment from above. The girl has the option to pass some expired food to the man or just let him be. She speaks to Ken Kuhn, another worker whose shift is about to end, who expresses relief after seeing the protagonist in one piece. He explains that he heard a man fall from the bridge the protagonist crossed earlier. He continues that an old lady told him she saw a man walking in the street with his legs completely bent the other way, presumably being some sort of evil entity. Ken Kuhn quickly dismisses the story as being false and laughs it off. The protagonist punches in her time and reads a note left by her manager to sort out the items of the store and get rid of expired food. Ken Kuhn leaves soon after, leaving the girl all alone by herself. After some time, a delivery man holding a large package arrives and mentions that they have recently incorporated a new system to deliver packages specifically to nighttime convenience stores working late hours. He notes that the name on the package matches the name tag of the protagonist and gives the package to her. Taking the package home ends the first night, leading to the second night. The protagonist wakes up at the same time and opens the package, including a VHS tape. As soon as she picks it up, the microwave turns on on its own. Playing the VHS, a creepy footage shows someone behind the yellow caution tapes behind the store, filming the convenience store. The girl then picks up her flashlight and heads out, noticing that the lampposts are turned off, making it extremely difficult to navigate through the street. The protagonist manages to find her way to the store without the homeless man at sight anymore. Ken Kuhn mentions that the doors of the store are fixed now, as the protagonist seemingly reported them to have been faulty and opening on their own. The protagonist then reads a note left by the manager that somebody left the trash bin open, which led to some rats infesting it, and whoever reads this note first must use a rat repellent spray to get rid of them. The girl manages to repel the rats, when suddenly an old lady is seen in the store who asks the girl where Ken Kuhn is and delivers some mysterious lines about her daughter's house just before she leaves. The second night then ends and the protagonist finds herself back in her house at 11.35. After a quick knock on her door, the girl goes to check where she finds a package left at the front of her door with no one seen at sight. Opening the box, she finds yet another VHS tape, which is of another amateur recording, this time past the yellow caution tapes. The protagonist picks up her umbrella as it's heavily raining outside and heads to the store. Ken Kuhn pulls a silly prank on the girl and scares her, which she soon realizes to have been silly and apologizes. He leaves soon after when Hamada arrives. Hamada informs the protagonist 
that he was instructed by the store owner to check and maintain the air conditioning units to keep the food fresh. He mentions that he'll quickly check the unit outside and leave. The girl observes her mother from the CCTV when she notices that the caution tapes have collapsed on their own. The girl goes to investigate and finds a shit-like construction. As she tries to open the unlocked door, she feels some sort of presence holding her arms, preventing her from doing so. She soon gives up and goes back to the store. After some time, she notices the toilet cover opening and closing on its own. As she goes to the restroom to inspect, the door shuts and gets locked, with the store's door opening to someone. After a short while, the restroom's door opens and lets the girl get out. She notices that some items are thrown to the ground, as if some person came in to pull a prank on her. As she checks the CCTV in fear, changing the channels, a dark demonic entity appears in the store, which soon disappears. Some talisman cards then are seen scattered on the floor, which the girl uses to open the door of the shit-like room behind the store. In her shock, she finds the corpse of her manager with his eyes gouged out, with the rats killed in there, a TV showing number 4, and several VHS tapes and a broken microwave. The door then starts banging harshly, and the head of the manager slowly turns towards the girl. The surreal incident quickly ends the night, with the girl suddenly finding herself back in her house at 11.35 pm. She has a new VHS tape, which she plays, yet again being another amateur recording, filming the shed room behind the store. Unsure whether she was dreaming about the incident in the shed room or not, she leaves and walks to work. In the store, there's no sign of Ken Kuhn being present, and for the first night ever, there's no note left behind by the manager. As the girl tries to leave the till, the store then suddenly transforms into a rundown dark place filled with TV sets. In the stock room, she hears strange noises, and when she goes to investigate, she sees a young person sitting down and making strange noises. She then soon gets interrupted by a dark demonic figure appearing in the corner of the room, which transforms the store back to its original state. The store's door then keeps opening on its own, which is revealed to be stuck by a VHS tape lying in front of it. The girl picks up the tape and goes home, ending the night. In here, the girl can experience two different endings, depending on her actions. The bad ending is followed after the girl decides to toss away the tape or watch it. The tape reveals yet another amateur recording, this time the person behind the camera recording from outside of the protagonist's house, recording while she's sleeping. Suddenly the girl finds herself on the bed, helpless not able to move, as if she's suffering a sleep paralysis. A dark shadow figure then soon approaches her, carefully pacing its steps, when suddenly it attacks the girl, ending her life, presumably. The second ending is followed after the girl decides to send the VHS tape back to the sender. I was sickened by the whole situation. I sealed the VHS tape carefully and sent it back to the sender. Everything about the store terrified me. Was everything I witnessed even real? Even though I was scared, I knew I had to know the truth. I searched up the internet and found a few articles about the location of the store. One comment on a strange forum stood out to me. It read that there seemed to have been some gruesome killings at the property which was built at the site of the store before. In 2009, there was a case where a man who was mainstay of the family killed his family, then eventually himself. 
the man killed his child with a kitchen knife while his wife was off to a grocery shopping in a local supermarket. When the wife came back, it said that she was killed in a brutal way. The man then after ended his own life. The woman was pregnant at the time. Apparently the man was consistently harassed by his boss at his work and at the day of the murder, he wore an emotionless expression. I stopped my search and tried calling the store manager to talk about everything I had experienced during the night shift. He never picked up. I suddenly received a phone call from Mr. Hoso, a franchise leader who I had never met. He informed me that the manager is dead and his corpse was found in the storage room behind the store. I couldn't breathe. So it wasn't a dream. I quit my part-time job and avoided going near the store. The store closed down a day later, so-called due to poor management, withholding the real details of the paranormal events taking place there. After some time, I passed the now closed down store when I heard a child's voice. There, I saw a woman. According to the detailed information, the old woman who visited the store talking about her daughter's house, being here before and blaming this girl, it becomes clear now that she was the mother of the murdered wife, who was pregnant with a child. The dark shadow figure could be whether the representation of the wife, who died mercilessly in a brutal manner, still roaming the haunted premises, being vengeful, or it could also be a dark entity possessing people to commit horrendous crimes, driving them to insanity, being a representation of hatred and mental breakdowns. As the husband suffered mental abuse from his boss at his workplace, leading to him ending the lives of his family and his own. The child present within the store who ended up in the stock room presumably was the representation of the child who was stabbed by the father, with his ghost still roaming around. And finally the store manager possibly suffered a horrible fate as he seemingly watched several VHS tapes which were sent to him. This is possibly what would happen to the girl if she continued to watch the tapes, leading to the bad ending. That's about it for today's video, folks. If you enjoyed it, you can stay tuned by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell. You can also follow me on Twitter and send me game suggestions, which I might cover on the channel. It's been your host, Star. Till the next video, have a fantastic day.